Hello everyone, welcome to Top Football Club. My name is Chris Rodriguez and in today's video we have uh, Jason Cundy came out and said that Newcastle are not a big club. And, you know, is that true? Let's react to what he had to say with a fan of Chelsea, of course. Let's get started. <music> Listen to what Jason Cundy had to say in this Chelsea. There's a, there's a word in there that champions. Okay. What do you I mean? mean? I mean, well, yeah. I, I mean to celebrate getting top four. Do you know what I mean, it's like is that the highlight? You know what I mean? Well, it is for a, they made it to the Champions League. What the hell is the problem? But it is for a club who've not been in it for twenty years. No, it is. Yeah. It is for a club the size of Newcastle, right? Yeah, but it is. I mean, is this, this is a massive achievement. What? Achievement for them, right? They, done, you I'm think about the last. They've done well. They've done really well. No, no, I know, I know, I know, and I know he got it. But the, the club the size of Newcastle, the last fifty-five years, they, they, this is almost like their Christmas, isn't it? Yeah, they got there. Okay, that sounds pretty condescending. Uh, that sounds pretty condescending, to be honest with you. They can't believe they got there and they have, and they deserve it. Now all of a sudden they got the, they got the prospect of maybe having Real Madrid, Bayern Munich, Barcelona, Inter Milan, AC Milan. Some of the big heads of European football rock up and make their season better next year because they've not had this. Well, twenty years they've been waiting there for this. Twenty years, and now they've got this. They've got a chance to play beyond the biggest stage, and that's why they're you know, if they're ahead of schedule. They should be two years. They're two years ahead of schedule. They got to, they got to win something basically, haven't they? Well, let's, let's make it. Well, right I wouldn't. Here. I wouldn't. I know. I, know, I, know, but I, I mean, you are, sound like a very bitter Chelsea fan right now, no, don't yeah, you? Yeah, yeah, very bitter. But so let, let's break this down a little bit and really, you know, find out: is there a big dynasty in 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 English football? Yeah, certainly. Uh, Manchester United could say because they got three Champions Leagues, a couple of Premier Leagues. So of course they can say that. But look at them right now, though. They suck you know they got regular players that shouldn't that don't deserve to play in that jersey and definitely a regular normal coach that shouldn't be coaching that 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 team arsenal arsenal hasn't won a premier league ever they have no international presence no champions league nothing other than winning fa cups who else chelsea chelsea wasn't chelsea until abramovich got there and invested in players and they actually were able to capitalize and win two Champions Leagues. Manchester City, you know, uh, to my previous point, to to Newcastle. Newcastle was probably bigger than Chelsea before Abramovich got to that point and actually took them internationally. Now, Manchester City, the same way. Until oil money came, you know, there, there was nothing happening for uh, Manchester City. They were a regular team. They were just, you know, probably as big, if not less than West Ham United, uh, you know, or Aston Villa or Everton. For that sake, you know, who else is out there? Liverpool, they have six Champions Leagues, but no Premier Leagues at all. No, I don't know the last time they won the English title when, when it was. So really, what are we talking about, Jason? Cundy really is pointless. Are there dynasties in English football? Certainly, I believe there are royalty clubs is what I call them. You know, clubs that are respected, clubs that have a lot of history, that are cultural, they have an impact culturally in fans. Not a lot of clubs can say that just as Newcastle fans, that they fill up the stadium every week, over 50,000 people every week. How many small clubs, quote unquote, do that in English football and in football in general? You know, again, I'm, I go back to my point. When I was young, I used to always hear about Newcastle. Again, I always thought Newcastle had a couple of Champions Leagues, a couple of Premier Leagues, because of how much I used to hear about them. Same as, same as other clubs, you know, obviously Manchester City, United, Manchester City less when I was growing up, but Arsenal definitely. So why is it Chelsea? Really, Chelsea is, a, is the dynasty. Chelsea is the big team here in 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 England, a team that is not going to play the, the, the Champions League this year. I mean, an embarrassment of last season. And uh, we're going to compare them right now to the great season that Newcastle had last year. And they celebrate it. So what? Get over it. Because it seems like some Chelsea fans and some other fans are a little butthurt 
about what's happening with Newcastle. It is what it is. Who knows? I, I've been saying it. I think Newcastle will win the Champions League in the next five years. What do you think? Please give us a comment. Don't forget to subscribe. Hit the bell for notifications. That way you don't miss out on any more uh, podcasts, videos, shorts, everything here at Top Football Club. My name is Chris Rodriguez. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.